I don't think there's any horror character in recent memory that deserves icon status more than Lola Stone. I mean that shit. The Loved Ones stars Robin McLeavy, Xavier Samuel, and is directed by Sean Byrne. What's up guys, before we get into this review of The Loved Ones, just so you know, there will be an Amazon affiliate link below so you can go and you can rent it or you can buy it, but it also supports the channel and I can't recommend a rental from you more than The Loved Ones if you haven't seen it. So anyway, here we go. Okay guys, I can hardly contain my excitement. I wanted to shout it to the mountaintop after seeing this movie. Uh, but, but before I explode, let me give you the plot synopsis of The Loved Ones. This is a prom movie. Prom movies are fun, right? Especially if they're prom horror movies. And in The Loved Ones, the main character in this movie is Brent, uh, played by Xavier Samuel. And at the beginning of the movie, he has a car accident with his father and his father passes away. And so for the next six months, he's just really down in the dumps, um, not having a good time at all. And he has a girlfriend, her name's Holly, and they are going to the prom together. But then enter Lola, played by Robin McLeavy. She approaches him in the hallways at class. She looks just like your normal girl next door. And she asks Brent to the dance. She has a crush on him. Kind of sweet. And then Brent, you know, he lets her down easy. He's a nice guy. He's got a girlfriend, but he says, I'm sorry, I, I just can't. Boy, did he make a big freaking mistake. And so Brent is kidnapped by Lola's father. And for most of the rest of this movie, Brent is held hostage and completely tortured. And when you watch the trailer for The Loved Ones, you might come to the conclusion that this is gonna be maybe a mild horror movie because, you know, it's kind of set around the prom. The character Lola looks like a bubblegum type of character. And when I watched this movie, I couldn't have been more wrong uh, in my assumption. This is a really graphic, bloody movie. Doesn't cut any corners. Uh, director Sean Byrne really wanted to make a statement with this film. And I like that he took something that could be kind of in the teen romance genre. They even use a song which you cannot get out of your head, um, Not Pretty Enough. This song feels like it fits in one of those teen romance prom movies. And it works perfectly in this movie. It's such a nice juxtaposition. But first off, uh, let's talk about Sean Byrne. He is way up there. Uh, on my new director's must-watch list because he also did recently The Devil's Candy, which is in my top five of the year so far. Loved the hell out of that movie. He is a director that puts a strong stamp on his horror films. After I watched The Devil's Candy, I, I was really curious about what he had done before. As a matter of fact, on Killer Flicks, somebody said, hey, have you seen The Loved Ones? So I wanted to check out The Loved Ones just because I was such a fan of The Devil's Candy. I actually like The Loved Ones even more than this movie, and that's a tall order because Devil Candy is fantastic. But The Loved Ones might be in my top 20 favorite horror films of all time. That's how great this movie is to me. I could not get it out of my head. Suck it. Show me! It's so refreshing. I think that's the biggest uh, word I can use for it. And the character of Lola Stone, like I said in the intro, instant horror icon. I would watch five more movies with her and be completely ecstatic. She is one of the most interesting horror characters I've ever seen. She's completely insane. Let me repeat that. Completely insane. Bat shit crazy. And you'll notice in this movie she's done this many times before. If she has her sights on you to be her prom date, and her idea of a, a good prom date is completely deranged, then you are in deep shit. Now, uh, back to the violence in this movie. Like I said, Sean Byrne really goes to some deep, dark places uh, with the violence. There's quite a few scenes where I was cringing, saying, no, they're not gonna show that. Oh yes, they show it. He doesn't pull any punches whatsoever. If you look at the poster for this movie, you can see Lola holding a drill, and she gets her money's worth out of that drill in this movie. I also like Devil's Candy. I can tell that Sean Byrne is a metalhead. He must be a fan of metal music because uh, in this movie, there is a lot of, uh, I guess, metal guitar sounds uh, in the score area. Not as much as The Devil's Candy, but especially where the character Brent is concerned. And it works so well for his character. And also, one thing I love about this movie, and it, when you're watching a horror movie and like those first two thirds, you're like, oh, this is so good, this is so good. I just hope the third act doesn't fall apart and they really drive it home. They do that. The third act in this movie, excellent. I was gripping my seat the whole time. I, I couldn't wait to see what happened next. There's this 
big fight between Lola and, and Holly, and you're literally yelling at the screen. It really builds to a crescendo. That's what this movie does. And it has one of those endings <clears throat> where you just jump for joy as soon as the credits start rolling. Some of the violent scenes actually reminded me of The Collector. And I had to mention that movie because my friend Cody Leach, he's been talking about The Collector and The Collection quite a bit lately. And I, I bought them recently and I'm planning on watching them real soon. But one thing I remember about The Collector is the violence doesn't hold any punches. It almost ventures into torture porn territory. Same with the loved ones. But I think given the nature of the characters in this movie, especially Lola and her father, the violence really fits. And I can't believe I haven't mentioned the comparisons to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Sawyer family yet because Lola and her father could be cousins to the Sawyers. Oh, we can hear you. And before I give my rating, I have to give high kudos to Robin McAlevey. What an actress. To be able to pull out a performance to a character as creative and insane as Lola Stone is no easy feat. Bravo. So anyway guys, as you can probably guess, I'm giving this movie trap on an island. It is fantastic. Love the hell out of it. It does have sort of a low budget feel to it when you watch it, but that didn't bother me at all because of what was going on. The characters are so rich in this movie. The violence is so good. This is a straight up horror movie for horror fans. If you're not a fan of horror, you're probably not gonna like this movie, but I could not get enough of it. I can't wait to watch it again. I'll probably watch it every year. Can't say enough about the loved ones. So anyway guys, what are your thoughts on the loved ones? Looking forward to hearing them. Thank God for Killer Flicks because I probably would have never heard of this movie before. So be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, become a member if you haven't. And on Fridays, we do Free For All Fridays. Also follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. If you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dumb out.